A woman in the St. Louis area is fighting to keep her pets, her chimpanzees, on her property. Yeah, she's been warned by a federal judge that the chimpanzees have to go. But she tells reporter Chris Hayes she's not giving up without a fight. They're going to have to bring sheriffs and they're going to have to bring everything that they can. That's Haddox's warning today to the animal rights group PETA and a federal judge who just ordered she must turn over seven chimpanzees. They're not getting the chimps. They're not getting. Now I've decided I'm keeping all of them just for the principle of the matter um, because they don't deserve the chimps. Fox 2 was the first media outlet to go inside the Festus oh, yeah. chimpanzee this complex this past oh, yeah. April. That's Haddox is not their original owner, but she stepped in to help Connie Casey five years ago when PETA sued Casey for alleged unsafe and unsanitary conditions. Connie's had chimps in this area for 50 years. She's never had any problems with the neighbors. If people check with the neighbors, they love the chimps. And I think that they, these chimps should be able to stay in the only home that they know. An earlier court order said Haddox could keep three chimpanzees and PETA would move four others to another facility. However, a federal judge ruled last week that Haddox has not proven she's held up her end of the bargain for requirements like hiring a full-time caregiver and building appropriate housing. How am I in contempt because I'm still taking care of the chimps, I still buy their produce, I still pay for their electric, I still provide cleaning cages every day. In fact, that's just what we got done doing. PETA wrote in a statement today, there is a sad history here for the chimpanzees and PETA's focus is on facilitating their court ordered transfer to a safe, caring, spacious and professional sanctuary environment. As the court advised Ms. Haddocks during a recent hearing, continuing contempt of its order could result in her arrest. Okay. Haddox now faces a $50 a day fine and orders to allow PETA access. She says she's failed to find any attorney who will take her case, forcing her to fight alone. We'll go to the Supreme Court. I mean, we'll go as far as we need to go to try to keep the chimps. That's all there is to it.